Oliver Ostrich. Ostrich reads, ah, ah, ah. Ostrich reads, ah, ah, ah. Ostrich reads, ah, ah, ah. Oliver Ostrich was glad it was Saturday. Saturday was always a day when the Ostrich family did something together at home. Daddy Ostrich had built the Ostrich family home. The father Ostrich always builds the nest for the family, you know. Daddy Ostrich had used his two strong digging toes to dig a large hole in the sand along the Shady River Bank. Mommy Ostrich fixed the nest. Mommy Ostrich fixed her home ostrich style. So, the ostrich family loved Saturdays. On Saturdays, the ostrich family could stay at home together to enjoy their happy home. Oliver Ostrich looked around the nest, observing, looking at his happy family. Daddy Ostrich was sitting on the couch reading a book. Daddy Ostrich stretched his long legs. He propped his feet up on the ottoman, the footstool. Mommy Ostrich smiled fondly at Daddy Ostrich. Mommy Ostrich appreciated, like all Daddy Ostrich did to make their nest comfortable. Mommy Ostrich was sitting in her rocker on the opposite side of the nest, rocking Oliver Ostrich's sweet baby sister. Ollie Ostrich. Oliver Ostrich had loved his sweet baby sister ever since she was hatched. Oh, how I love my family, thought Oliver Ostrich as he sat cross-legged on the floor. Oliver Ostrich was practicing to become a real builder someday, just like his daddy. Just then, Ollie Ostrich began to fuss a little bit. Oliver Ostrich went over to Mommy Ostrich rocker. Oliver Ostrich talked softly to his baby sister Ostrich. Often, Ollie Ostrich would smile and coo for her big brother Ostrich, but not today. I see that Ollie Ostrich is hungry again," said Mommy Ostrich. Ollie Ostrich is hungry again already," asked Daddy Ostrich. Ollie Ostrich is one hollow, empty, hungry little baby. I'll go get Ollie's bottle of ostrich grass juice," said Oliver Ostrich. When Oliver Ostrich came running back with the baby's bottle, Ollie Ostrich put out her pudgy little wings to take the bottle. Ollie Ostrich was happy now. She began to drink the wonderful ostrich grass juice fast. Right in the middle of a swallow, Ollie Ostrich stopped and grinned at her helpful big brother Oliver Ostrich. A trickle, little drip drop of ostrich grass juice ran from the corner of her little beak right down her soft, downy chin. Now I know why you keep a bib on your our baby, Mommy Ostrich," said Oliver Ostrich as he smiled back at Ollie Ostrich. Daddy Ostrich smiled at Mommy Ostrich. Mommy Ostrich smiled at Daddy Ostrich. The two ostrich parents were observing, looking at their offspring children lovingly. 
I see that you are a happy helper in our nest, Oliver Ostrich, said Daddy Ostrich. I am thankful that you help Mommy Ostrich when she is busy with Ollie Ostrich. I appreciate your help too, Oliver Ostrich, added Mommy Ostrich. If I didn't have you to help me, I would have to be an octopus to get everything done in my nest. I do try to be a happy helper, explained Oliver Ostrich. At school, I keep my office neat. I like to do things for my supervisor too. You also pick up your toys at home, Oliver Ostrich, added Mommy Ostrich. And you keep your own feathers neat most of the time too. I have observed, seen you putting the little chairs away after little ostrich class at church, praised Daddy Ostrich. You always keep your offering money quiet until the offering is taken too, remembered Mommy Ostrich. We are proud of you, Oliver Ostrich. Our happy little helper, said Daddy Ostrich. Mommy Ostrich's eyes just shined with love as she looked at Oliver Ostrich. I do try not to kick up too much dust with my long legs, Oliver Ostrich assured his fox. I try to be careful whether I'm helping at home, at church, or at school. Ostriches can kick a lot of dust up with their powerful legs, you know. Well, Oliver Ostrich, I would like to give you an opportunity, a time to help me right now, said Mommy Ostrich. Oliver Ostrich stood up on his long legs. Oliver Ostrich pretended to bow to Mommy Ostrich. At your service, Mommy Ostrich, Oliver Ostrich said. Daddy Ostrich laughed with his comical funny son. <laughs> I have a little shopping list with pictures, continued Mommy Ostrich. Please go to the store for me, Oliver Ostrich. I will pin the money in your pocket with an extra one of Ollie Ostrich diaper pins. Sure, Mommy Ostrich, Oliver Ostrich agreed. I will do the job for you. Put on your spotted down jacket, Oliver Ostrich, reminded Daddy Ostrich. It's a cold October day outside. Yes, sir, Daddy Ostrich, said Oliver Ostrich obediently. Be careful when you cross the street at the end of the block, reminded Mommy Ostrich. Yes, ma'am, Mommy Ostrich, said Oliver Ostrich obediently. On the way to the store... Oliver Ostrich was glad he had on his spotted jacket. October weather was cold. Oliver Ostrich observed, looked at the lovely fall colors. The tree's leaves were red, orange, yellow, and brown. The October wind was blowing the tree leaves. Oliver Ostrich began to sing as he walked along. Oh, 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 oh sang Oliver Ostrich. I love to sing. Maybe someday I'll be an opera singer. As Oliver Ostrich walked along, he came to a tall wooden fence. The fence kept the cold October wind of Oliver Ostrich a bit. Oliver Ostrich heard the dry, crisp leaves crackle and crunch as he walked. A big brown leaf dropped down on Oliver Ostrich's beak. Oliver Ostrich looked up. Oliver Ostrich looked at the tall wooden fence. Oliver Ostrich looked up at the big brown tree. Suddenly, a great big green and red something popped up and looked over the fence at Oliver Ostrich. Oliver Ostrich hollered, Oh, 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 as he took off down the sidewalk as fast as an ostrich can run. What did Oliver Ostrich see?